Hey guys, so I really want to show you guys what I'm doing for 2019, but I don't have time to set up my tripod and everything, so this is going to be a one-handed flip through. Hopefully it's not too shaky for you, um, but let me just show you what I'll be doing for the new year. So first I'll start off with what I'll be carrying um, in my hand-stitched leather tea cover. So that will be getting here hopefully soon. I ordered it a week or two after Black Friday, and it's still not quite here yet, so I'm really jonesing for it. I want it so bad. <laughs> so once I get that, I will be carrying both of these notebooks in there. Um, so this one here is my journal, and I love this thing so much. I love the stickers that I managed to put together for it. Um... Yeah, so let me just show you a little bit inside. Um, actually, no, I it's really personal in here. I don't think I'll show you inside, but I can try and show you. Well, you can kind of see what I've been doing with the washi tape and everything. Um, every single day I was doing the washi, and then I just decided not to do that anymore because, it, honestly, it uses a lot of washi tape. So I will be doing... Um, just pictures and stuff of the family and tipping them in or whatever. So I'm going to be keeping this with me all the time. And then I have another Stalogy here that I will be using for my everyday carry. So this is, they're both A6 size. And I just have some vinyls on the front that I'm not sure if I'm going to keep. Um, I'll keep this one, but I'm not sure about the others. Um, it looks pretty cute, but we will see. So, anyway, inside I have just some die cuts from Redbubble. That, actually, they're stickers that I turned into die cuts that I kept in here just because I love them. And I'm not really sure where to put them quite yet, so they're kind of just hanging out. And then I have some personal info that I covered up with this picture of my baby. She's so cute. And then I have extra tabs over here. I didn't really know where to put them, so I just put them in here. They are some of those post-it reusable tabs that I covered with um, my own tab. Like, I cut off the top and put my own tab. And then I covered that with tape. And that um, is an idea that I got from Carrie Harling. And I'm super glad that I figured that out, or that I saw that video, I guess, because um, I was able to use these Fox and Pip tabs that I've been hoarding for, like, ever, because I didn't want to use them and not have them anymore, so love that. This was my monthly for last month. I don't really use, like, a big monthly spread like a lot of people do. It just isn't functional for me. I never end up writing anything in it, so... What I really like to do is just have like a month at a glance um, and then a note section so I can write down important dates. And these are, um, these are, what are they? Sticky notes from Peanuts Planner Co. that I just write down the dates. These are Monday start. And then, um, I left some room down here for important dates, but it just wasn't enough. And I never used it because I was worried I would run out of room. So I'll show you what I did in January that really helped. But I just use this washi partly for deco, partly to hold the sticky notes down um, because, you know, because they're sticky notes, they only stick at the top. So the washi helps hold them onto the page, but it's really cute too. Isn't it cute? Uh, and then we go into my dailies. At first I started doing what I was doing in my moleskin, and then I decided to switch things up for the week of Christmas. I got this idea from Bunny Plans. She would do timed on one side and then to-dos on the other, and I really like that. I'll probably only use it occasionally, though, because, like, on Christmas Day, um, I had nothing to do. Like, I was with my parents all day, so, like, there's no reason to have a time schedule if I'll be doing nothing, essentially. Like, I stayed at their house, um, even overnight, so, um, yeah, so I'll just probably be doing that periodically and then continue with what I usually do, which is lists and all of that, so, um, uh, I also made this um, what do you call these? Page markers? Yeah. And I just used, I just made like a washi dashboard and didn't cut holes in it. And then I used my Dymo tab or like label maker and made a today tab on there. And then 
in the back here, well, it's like getting crazy. <laughs> on the back, I have one of the Shameless Stickers Sticky Jelly Pockets. You can put these on anything. They are super awesome, and you can get them in all the different colors of the jellies. Um, and then I have a picture, another picture of my daughter. And I also have this Dwight Beat. I got um, a bunch of stickers from the office for Christmas. And yeah, I love that. So it's just sticking out there. <laughs> Um, and then, um, this is the end of the week here, and then we have my January setup. So, um, like I said, I still am using the Peanuts Planner Co. sticky notes for my month at a glance, and then I just decided to do the whole next page with important dates. So, I have plenty of room to write all the important things that I have going on, and I used some stickers from Mama Jean Designs. These are her, um, what are they? Encouraging word quote, or <laughs> word quotes? Her encouraging quotes stickers? I can't remember, but I really like them. And I also decided to put this quote on the bottom here. One of the greatest feelings is accomplishing something you once thought impossible. So I have a lot of plans to lose weight for 2019. And I just really needed a lot of motivation to make sure that I keep going and no matter what, keep trying and all of that stuff. So I really like how this turned out. It's a bit girly for me with this pink washi tape, but it's pretty. So yeah. Um, and then we have my tracker. I don't usually do trackers, but I decided for the new year, I really, really want to try and you know, do a good job with this. Um, there's a lot of things that I want to keep track of. I want to make sure I'm drinking enough water. I want to make sure I'm exercising and see how often I'm showering. I need to make sure I take my meds and I want to track how well I'm eating. I'll be doing paleo, um, as well as probably gluten-free, um, because of my thyroid. Um, I've seen that that's possibly the best diet for people with thyroid, hypothyroidism, and so that's what I'll be trying, and I also want to track some stuff for the baby and my planner, so I really, really want to just, like, keep this open in my living room or on my kitchen table, whatever, and track, you know, these important things from, and see how well I do all month long, you know, keeping up on these items. And so that's all I have for monthlies. I did kind of map out all the way through June. And then the rest I left for notes. Let me get to the first notes page. Because there's some stuff you cannot see. Okay. So this is about how much I left for notes. It might be too much. Um, I'm not sure. We will see. Once we get to June and I'm ready for a new notebook, I will decide whether or not I want to leave this much space for notes next time. It's no big deal. So... Yeah, um, in here I've done some notes about my paleo journey, what I'll be doing um, as far as what to eat. Um, I did take notes on this page back here. I just can't show you because the other page is um, stuff I can't talk about. But um, yeah, so I've got a lot of notes about my diet, what I should eat, what I shouldn't eat, um, things that might help me feel better. And then the rest of these will just be for like brain dump type of stuff. It'll be for just, you know, random notes that I want to take on things, all of that good stuff. So <clears throat> this is going to be in my hand stitch leather tea cover that I'll be carrying with me every day. And then I have still my pocket rings that I will be taking with me as well. So um, or actually not taking with me. I will be keeping to use, but this is going to be staying at home. This is my Vanderspec, um, pocket size, which I believe is junior size. This is the Touch Me Noir, which I love. And inside, um, I will show you what I have in here. So on the first, um, actually, if you've seen my past setup, it's pretty similar, I think, um, to my functional setup that I did a couple of weeks ago and I have changed a couple of things like obviously I put a lot of the deco back in um I have my sticker book in the back there that I keep my little stickers in I glitterified my Dwight poster <laughs> and I got some new stickers from Redbubble so I have a black 
like rocker hands instead of white that I used to have, as well as this caffeinate and dominate sticker. I decided to just laminate them so I can reuse them, but I love it. Isn't that so cool looking? Um, so I have a lot of deco in here, but I want to show you the functionality of like what I'm actually using it for. So, um, if you saw my last video, you may uh, know all of this already. However, I want to go through it because it's something I'll be using for 2019. So, in here I have like my goals and forward planning and stuff. I have an inbox, which obviously I use so often. <laughs> um, I have a couple of recipes to keep with me because I saw this idea from Maddie Plans for like when we go grocery shopping it's good to have some recipes that can give you some ideas for some items that you might need to buy for your house um, if you don't have a grocery list which I really liked. I also have extra graph paper back here. Then I have this forward planning insert from Peanuts Planner Co. It just has the whole year dated on here and I will just keep important dates on there as well. Um, this is from Lasney Kriya Shop. It's a digital and I love it. It's so cute. Um, I'm just using this to mark my goals and rewards tracker for, uh, losing weight for the new year. I haven't figured out what to put for these next three, um, like rewards. So if you can think of anything, let me know. But if I lose 60 pounds, I really, really want to get a customized Vanderspeck. So we will see. <laughs> I'll also need to be saving money. <laughs> um, so I have, I think I have a couple of these in here. I do. And then I have some content planners. I think I just have one page um, just because I stopped kind of using those so much. And then I have some vellum and acetate in here. My shameless music section. This vellum is from Shameless. Then I have my weekly section. And on that I have one of my Shameless jewels. Which is this Star Wars one. And I have recurring tasks in here. For like things I need to do monthly or bi-monthly. Whatever. And I think I also have a tracker. But I'm probably not going to use this. Since I do have the one in my Stalogy. So I also kept... Um, previous weekly pages, I put a key here just for the color coding so I know what's what. Um, this is just a random week. This week I was tracking how much my baby was eating and this worked amazing. Um, I kind of just did two hour blocks and then, um, would end it when she's, like, so the color coding ends where she started eating. So that way I knew, like, every two or three hours she needs to eat again and then this is a week that I never finished <laughs> and then I kept one more week in here just in case I really get super busy and want to see like a full weekly spread I will keep these um more acetate this is from Swooky Stationery by the way SWCI Stationery on Etsy um this is more shameless vellum and then just some cute stuff in here. If you want to see everything close up, you can go to my Instagram. I have a lot of pictures of my planner on there. I recently got my first order from Illustrixi Studio. I hope I'm saying that right. But um, this was a freebie in the order and I love it. It's a little skull and this little moon. And it's got a little happy face on the moon. I think that's so funny. Um, this is my notes section. Obviously, I use it a lot. Um, <laughs> this is going to be for, like, important notes that I want to keep in here. I haven't really... I need to actually write down movies I want to see because I do have a list of movies I want to go watch. I always forget titles of movies, so that's one I want to put in here. But I really just have these random, like, pastel-colored notes pages that I found at um Walmart that I use for like random lists like stuff I want to add to my stalogy. Um this first one over here was like planning methods. I have a grocery list in here and then I have this bookmark from Banana Doodle Shop that I um chose to keep in here on my grocery list because I obviously not obviously, but I write in here a lot and add things as I go through the house, as I'm cooking dinner and I need stuff. I'll just write it down real fast. So this just helps me be able to turn there really quickly. And I have some extra pages of that. 
And then I have PR codes on here. And I don't think I can show you the back. I think I put personal codes on there. So we'll just skip that. Yeah. And then I just have some cute deco. This is from Lasni Korea as well. These cute stars. Um, this is a, another shameless jewel, this black palm. And then I have my finance section. So this is the main part of my planner that I use the most. Um, even though I don't use it like too too often this is where we keep where i keep track of all of our bills i still have to fill out the bills for this month but i just go through and write when they're due what it is how much and then whether i paid it or not and um again this is another die cut or bookmark from banana doodle shop that i'm using to mark the place for our month of for the bills of this month and then I also have these debt trackers in here still. I really love these. Um, it's really encouraging to see balances going down on debt that you have. And um, it just keeps you motivated to keep going and um, keep paying those debts off. I have this from MJ and Hope. Some more of that acetate. Just some cute dashboards. All of this is from Shameless. I love her shop, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> um, and then we have my home section, which just has our um, grocery guide, which is just all the stuff that we eat regularly. Um, and then I have, what else? Meal planning inserts. And um, I'm going to see if Pe Peanuts Planner Co. has just meal planning inserts because I don't need the grocery section since I have groceries in my notes um I don't really need the other you know this other column so I'm gonna see if I can find some just menu inserts oh my gosh I can't turn this page what is happening um and then I also have my workouts in here um just keeping track of the workouts I've done switching off I've been switching off every day, but I might start switching off every week because that's a lot of switching and a lot of new workouts to be trying, so we'll see. <laughs> um, I'm definitely going to be getting back into working out. If you want to follow my fitness journey or my health journey, you can follow me at Kelsey Goes Fit um, on Instagram, and I'll be posting there what I'm eating, how often I'm working out, and all of that good stuff. Um, this is my little coffee dashboard. Sorry for the glare. I love this dashboard because of my coffee obsession. Oh my gosh. And then this is my little family dashboard. I have banana doodle shop die cuts. And then this vellum. And this is from Shameless. And then this is from Lasni Kriya. As you can tell, I only have like a couple shops that I really love. Um, in this section, this is my kids section. So it's for my baby. Um, I have contact pages. Wow, it's focusing on my hand. Stop. <laughs> um, I have extra graph paper. I have, oh, I guess that's a checklist. I think I have doctor visits inserts in here, which have been really helpful for keeping up with her pediatrician appointments, for how much she's gaining weight, and all of that stuff. Um, and then this is a postcard from Shameless that you get if you spend $10 or more. On the back, I just have a bunch of stuff, um, some of my favorite die cuts from Shameless, and then this is a digital paper, and it, it covers up my prayer request section that I still have in here. I keep this just to keep with me and remember the people that I want to pray for. Um, I have a horrible memory, so I forget. <laughs> so this just keeps it at the front of my mind, you know, people need, um, for the people that I want to pray for. Wow, words are hard. <laughs> and then we have some more vellum. This is a freebie from Moon Babe Inquiry. This is Moon Babe Inquiry samplers, as well as this is from MJ and Hope. And then my food section, just some cuteness back here, my donuts. Um, this is a Mother Me and I plans sticker sampler. It's so cute. Um, she has amazing 90s stuff. Oh my gosh, I can't get it back in. It's hard to look through this camera. Like, this is another one of her die cuts. Planner nerds. Ah, ha, ha. It's so funny. I love her stuff, though. She, If you're looking for nostalgic 90s stuff, go to her shop because, oh my gosh, she has so much. 
Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing in here. It actually is really functional planning, even though there's a lot of deco between, like, the actual inserts are just pure, like, function, maybe highlighting for some color coding, but that's about it. So, yeah, this is my lineup for 2019. It's what I'll be using. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and um, follow me on Instagram. I post a lot on Instagram. I'm not here as often as I'd like to be, but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.